Four hours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma, and where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there, if they'd show up. Well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning? Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. I see what you're doing, Freddy. You're just trying to make me feel better. How about making us feel better? We sat through this, too. I'm so sorry you all had such a rough time. Freddy has a bad idea! What else is new? Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose ends since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> right. I just... wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't... don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. A all of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. too much or is it just me everything i set upon unravels at my feet everything i've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free like a With no sails, not a breeze, I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt, I just, I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope. You... You have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Did you, uh, bring an instrument, or some music? I kinda bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, well... With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue Grief from all the promises, too many dreams unsung All the steps I didn't take, and paths proved untrue Is there any path through? Like a boat lost at sea Though I'm about to With You still have your life ahead I am drifting cold waters No star to be seen All things that lose their way Can find it again There is no inertia Your song was just so wonderful. I had to finish it with you. I hope that's all right. I also know what it feels like to be lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. It's really weird. I feel like... Have we met before? I don't think so, but artists often find me familiar. What does that mean? It means I've traveled in many circles. <laughs> May I ask you why you feel so adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is just beginning. It would sound stupid. Hmm. Try me. Well... I left school because I didn't feel like I belonged there, but I still haven't found my place. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Shouldn't I have figured this out by now? Those are good questions to ask. I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... What the... Calliope? I didn't know where else to... I'm so sorry, Grace. What happened? Who did this? It... It doesn't matter now. I didn't want to do this to you. I... 
not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please. Please, come on. My door. Or our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. Uh, uh, hold on. Who are you? How did you get here? Through the door? I mean, geez, how did you get here? <sighs> she really is dead, huh? So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. Sucks, but, you know. You are gonna tell me what's going on right now! Whoa. Who are you? How did you get here? What is happening? Alright, alright, jeez. Let me go. Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Wait! Come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here and, uh, not touch anything. Our beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you, our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? This is... it must be a mistake. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Nor should you. We go to great lengths to ensure mortals believe they are alone in their great big world. But we aren't? No. 
No, no. Oh, my poor dear. I should explain. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. But gods aren't real. They can't be, they're just- Stories, myths, legends. If you're real, you'd be all-powerful. You wouldn't be hiding or- mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with, and, well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people trying to get by. Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now, fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to, if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. <laughs> you expect me to believe that gods, sorry, idols, have been living among us for what, thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh no, no, I'm not trying to make you believe anything, not at all. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are, <laughs> I don't know, actors, religious fanatics, by all means, the only thing I do need you to grasp is that you are here. This is real, and like it or not, it is happening. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too, and an idol. That is true. That, that thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon, the part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol, which now makes you want Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper. <laughs> Never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm so, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. What? I didn't murder Calliope. She was already hurt when she banged on my door. So you say? I just met Calliope last night. Why would I kill her? Why would you even think that? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. But... It isn't... Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... We should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end. Yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, please listen. You have usurped a muse. No recourse to be arranged, but it's unfair. 
I know, but our laws cannot be changed. But she came to me. You must realize there are simple rules. If one of us dies, these rules have been the tools that she. You must know. Us. I didn't do it. Is it weird this isn't song? Now that the muse is gone. Now that she's Disagree. Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I, I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> And what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? I can prove myself. Uh, if you let me. I can try. We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. Have what? What just happened? A am I free? Do I get my day in court? Yes, you shall. You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial. If you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then, oh, our original verdict stands. Can someone explain to me just how I'm supposed to find the truth? I'm not a detective. I don't know anything about the idols. Well, that's for you to figure out. I knew you were going to say that. How did I know you were going to say that? We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer. If they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Grace? 
Uh, hi. Hi! 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace... We thought something happened to you. Wait, did something happen to you? Um, yeah. Kidnapped by aliens. Well, if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Big, scary aliens. <laughs> you were gone all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? I was calling and calling. This wasn't some hookup, was it? Because, you know, you can say it's none of your business, Freddy. It was definitely not a hookup. I'm allowed to say that much, I think. Allowed to say? Like you're a secret spy? Have you been a secret spy this whole time? Because if you have, that's pretty cool. Hi there. Uh, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns. Because I allow you to see the horns. That's crazy, right? As for who I am, I've been known most often as Pan. So you call me that. If you must call me anything. Pan. Of the Greek gods, Pan. Right? What are you, some kind of cosplayer? <laughs> the days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid. But I assure you, I am the real article. I've come to offer our newest idol a helping hand. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? So we can just talk about this, in front of Freddy. Haven't you? Darling, and here I drop my glamour and everything. It's just, I was told we're not supposed to. Talk about it, that is. Talk about what? Grace, tell me! The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. Huh. That's it? Huh? I guess. Do you believe in this, Grace? Sure, but I had proof. I traveled through a magical door. Which sounds extra cool. <laughs> I was a little distracted. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch period, dummy. Oh yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye, it truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, 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 you wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. Don't you think you're being a little suspicious, Freddy? Uh... I don't know. Maybe things work differently among these... What are you again? Idols, darling. Beings of worship, adoration, prowess. Okay, right. Maybe it's different for idols, but when things are a little too convenient, it's worth questioning. Especially when they show up like a salesman in a cheap suit. <laughs> I'll have you know there's nothing cheap about this suit. Seems rather convenient, you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me, if you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not gonna tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. 
Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. You know, you could be the killer, for all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! To be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas, and alas, and alas. <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. I still don't trust you. Nobody does anything for free. <laughs> now, 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 now. Who said I was doing anything for free? Ah, uh, here we go. I have not, however, asked for anything. As of yet. Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. When I was talking to Athena and the others, they all started singing. Does that mean... <laughs> that was me? Let me guess. Music swelled as if from nowhere. Lips quivered, souls were laid bare. And yeah, that was you. Okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um, I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel... Powerful. Grace, you know that you're lost now. You've been given powers you don't understand. I'm the guy who can help you. All that you hear is at your command. Wait. No, it's okay, Freddy. This is all me? What do I do? Start singing. Now? <laughs> Why not? Time's a wasting. How the hell did you find me? This is the weirdest night I've ever had. Can you say I have powers? How could this possibly turn out bad? Am I doing it now? Brilliant. I don't follow. Girl. Are those really actual don't horns? Control. And this singing is so hard to swallow. <laughs> I know. Can you hear me, Grace? What's it's going on? Song. Lost girls, lost girls, you all love your lost girls. A rescue that you can take home I won't say you need saving You're not drowning, you're waving And you too, are you uh, dating? <laughs> it's so titillating Grace, we gotta be careful Has he slipped something into our drinks? Spouting crap about powers He could be dangerous, what do you think? Somehow, but pulling me round is not what I need. Is 
that's gonna be here all the time. How dare you? You don't know me. If she has to be, pass me some wine. Grace, is this how you let strangers speak to me? Lost girls, lost girls, you all of your lost girls. A rescue that you can't take home. I sure hate to say this, but you're Okay, what happens now then? How about a solo? Backing yourself. You're sure about this? Grace, I love it. In a game. You don't understand. This has all gotten out of hand. Nothing for Grace will ever be the same. Lost girls, lost girls. You're not exactly lost girls. You're in over your head. Someone is dead. A bit much, wouldn't you say? Lost girls, lost girls. We all love our lost girls. But you're sort of no longer human. You're a muse who's gone astray Grace, I'm just a bandmate It's not some legal mandate If you wanna go, I won't put on some show But no, you're not alone I'm sure this Freddy's got a phone But let me say I work alone Now Grace, you're a muse Time is ticking, you must choose. Sorry to break it to you, Pam, but I'm not abandoning my best friend. That? That's your choice. Humdrum mortality. How about trusting in those who love her instead of those who want to use her? Oh my, such drama. No matter how you employ it, Grace, this is the power of a muse. Drawing out that which lies within. I trust you can see how that might be useful in your investigation. Sure, but I have to admit, I didn't feel completely in control. Of course not. A song goes where a song goes, Grace. It will only go where it wishes. Amuse does not command. She evokes. She elicits. She inspires. Look, Creepo. Grace already told you to take a hike. So she did. Allow me to get to the point, then. For all your powers, you still need a place to begin your search. And this I can provide. An address. In the city. Where Calliope was staying, I do believe. You have Calliope's address? You should have started with that. And miss all the dancing? Nonsense. Now this, this I consider a favor. One I hope you'll remember in future dealings. That's perfect. We can look for clues there. What this Calliope was doing, who her enemies were. I should remind you there is an element of danger. A killer is on the loose, no? No worries. I got this. Oh? Whatever my magical song powers can't handle, I'm sure a boot to the head will. <laughs> I see. I need to find Kaz and Brian. Just tell them you're okay. If uh, not the other stuff. Then I guess I'll go check this place out on my own. So glad that's settled. I'll let you get to it. I've drinking to resume. Ta-ta.